since your last product announcements in December 2020, how has your business been affected? Yes, last year has been a very eventful year for XAG, and we released many new products during the year. Um, I remember in July, we released a production uh, version of um, the R-series ground vehicle for agriculture. Um, and that's the first generation of ground vehicle we ever created um, in addition to our drone series. So XAG has turned from a pure drone company to a agriculture robotic or agriculture technology company. We also started manufacturing our autopilot console for tractors because in China we have about 20 million tractors, small and big ones in China. And to make them into autonomous tractors is uh, meaningful and also very uh, rewardful uh, you know, um, task because we are facing labor shortage problem in the, in the villages. And later in December, we have released our new V series, P series, especially the, the V series. We released the V40, it's a, a dual copter or a, a bi-actual copter. We received a very well uh, feedback from our customers and the, the industry as well, because this is a totally new concept for the spraying drone in addition to the old p theories which are quadcopters and this gives us a new ability to approach new markets like the fruit growers fruit farmers who are running orchard on the mountainous areas very hard to use quadcopters because it's too big um, it's a, it's also not flexible enough to to carry and to fly and the v series also give us ability of better penetration during the spray because the, the two rotors create more regulated and much more stronger uh, downforce wind to carry the chemical droplets to penetrate the fruit trees. So it's been opening up year last year, 2020, from the sky to the ground, from the bigger ones to the small ones, from the traditional uh, quadcopters to the new V-copters. Um, yes, it's been very, very, very busy, but a fruitful year. Excellent. Well, it's interesting to see the the dual approaches there. You are uh, expanding the capacity because, of course, one of the questions that people always have is what's its capacity? How much can it hold? But also you're answering the other question about flexibility, lightweight and accessibility with the V series. So between P80 and V40, you're covering a lot of bases there. Yes, we had a broad meeting this morning in China and uh, from the report uh, of the sales department, I've seen the demand for our new drones and the robots are uh, increasing very fast. So far we have received more than 10,000 units order of the new v, uh, V40 drones. Um, that means the market is quickly accepted this new concept and also they trust XAG can build those drones for them to use. In order to meet this demand, uh, rocket, rocketing demand, you say, if you want to say, um, we are now building our second, uh, but bigger factory. We call this Super X factory. Uh, the production volume is aiming at 1 million units per year. And the factory going to be fully automated which means less workers in the factory, more and uh, more product, uh, much more productive, but also the quality is much more um, uh, uniformed because we are facing, at, th at this moment, we are facing some shortage of the parts um, as well, well as we are uh, developing the factory. So it, I think it will be a process. We cannot really uh, build a factory in, in one year, not like Tesla, but, uh, it's possible to open the new factory by the end of last uh, by the end of next year so we can possibly meet the demand uh, the second thing is um, our sales team is trying to manage the uh, dispatching of the products um, intelligently how to say that uh, for, for instance china is now entering spring and um, many farmers, they are waiting on the list to receive their drones. So we are now 
trying to find a smart way to ship those drones and robots according to the season because some of the farmers in South China already start cultivating their land, preparing for seeding. We need to ship those aircraft um, and the robot quickly. And the, the, the farmers in Northwest or Northeast China, they still have one month to go, so they can wait probably a little bit more. So by doing this a smart management of shipment, we can also uh, release some, some pressure for, uh, from our customers. I look forward to seeing you when travel conditions uh, allow. And uh, thank you very much for taking the time. My pleasure. Thank you, Robert. Thank you.